The Grand Valley schools say sorry for an ugly scene at a high school football game where Beachwood students and parents say they were the target of racial slurs. Grand Valley superintendent spoke with Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis about the measures the district is taking to prevent this from ever happening again. Well, Beachwood parents who contacted News 5 say it happened right here at the Grand Valley Football Stadium. Racial slurs and racist chants being directed at the Beachwood High School ban. Grand Valley leadership says they are taking serious action against the parent who triggered this incident. We're embarrassed that we have someone like this in our community. Grand Valley Superintendent William Nye Jr. says the Grand Valley parent who carried a Confederate flag into the stadium yelling racial slurs is being dealt with and may even face criminal charges. Uh, as soon as we uh, were, this action was brought to our attention on Friday night, we addressed it in conjunction with the Beachwood uh, uh, SRO as well as our police officers and had this person escorted and he's been banned from our campus indefinitely. But the Beachwood parents who contacted News 5 say it was more than just one parent. They say that a group shouted out racial slurs, the group chanting white power, and that more than just one Confederate flag was brought to the game. Superintendent Nye says additional steps are being taken, especially since Grand Valley will play Beachwood in other sports. We are, um, have set up a meeting uh, with uh, Beachwood administrators and their administration and some of our board members in a couple of weeks to come out and um, develop a plan to ensure that there's safe conditions everywhere and no one's threatened. It's an incident Superintendent Nye and his staff are taking very seriously. We apologize and are embarrassed and appalled at this kind of behavior happened from one of our community members. And, and uh, again, it's not representation of our, our, our community. And Superintendent Nye made it clear that students and staff were not part of this incident. However, diversity training will be offered here at the district in the coming months. Reporting from Orwell in Ashtabula County, I'm Five on Your Side investigator Joe Paganakis.